Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports coach and trailer sales. How about that? Normally doing videos of the coaches, but today I have a super nice 2002 Renegade 40 foot liftgate trailer to show you. Uh, check out all the specs, uh, over probably 100 pictures, price and everything at chasecoach.com. So go to chasecoach.com, click on used inventory and uh, check out all the photos, description, price and everything. So 40 foot trailer, it is 41 foot overall. So considered a 40 foot trailer, I guess 40 foot on the inside, but 41 overall. It is currently set up with a gooseneck hitch, but we do have the, the fifth wheel pins in stock. If you have a fifth wheel set up on your truck, we can accommodate. It does have a 10,000 watt Onan diesel generator uh, that's up under the nose of the trailer there. We just put a new water pump, new belts, um, new we put new oil, new filter, new fuel filter, just the common stuff that you know, a trailer of this age needs maintenance wise, it's been done. So generator runs perfect. The trailer overall, very, very, very nice condition. You've got the polished stainless down the bottom. It is a triple axle torsion ride. The tires were put on uh, the beginning of this year. They're dated 4422 and they are the heavy, heavy ply radial tires. So again, dated 4422. So those were put on at the beginning of 2023, at the beginning of this year. Um, liftgate trailer, so it's got a 54 and a half inch upper deck height, about 90 inches wide when you go in the top. And then you can see down here on the bottom, I believe memory serves me correctly, the bottom 75 and a half inches tall. And again, 90 inches on the bottom opening width. Uh, down here on the bottom, you've just got a bunch of open space. You've got about 80 inches between the fender wells, so plenty of room to put a golf cart or a Mini Cooper or motorcycles or side-by-sides or whatever you want to put. As you can see up in the kind of midway in the trailer there, you do have freezer flaps. Those are keeping the air conditioning up in the front. So it does have air conditioning up in the front of the trailer and those freezer flaps are helping keep that up there. The lift gate's about 15 foot overall length and again about uh, 88, 90 inches wide where you drive on it. It is a hydraulic lift gate. And as you can see, it does have the aluminum flap that, that folds off the back. You do have a couple halogen work lights here on the passenger side. So three of those here on the passenger side of the trailer. Overall exterior condition, uh, very, very nice. When this trailer came in on trade, I would have never guessed it was a 2002 model. It looks much newer. It does have a couple outdoor speakers. It does have a weather station that comes with it. Again, 10,000 watt own end diesel generator on board. It's got some like indoor outdoor black carpet up here in the front, which I really like. It vacuums up very easy, very simple to keep clean. Has a nice aluminum cabinet package. Does have an air compressor. Again, the air conditioning is located in the, the front left corner there. Has a uh, a workbench here and then one right back or behind me here a smaller one again tons of aluminum cabinets storage to uh, put engines or materials or whatever you see your thermostat there for your ac couple speakers some of the pit posse accessories to put spray cans and oil bottles and stuff like that it does have the onboard weather station am fm radio with a dvd built in and more cabinets and little toolbox drawers here. Um, it does have a spare tire too. I've put that in the photos, but he's hiding right up there behind the cabinet. And then um, on back through the trailer, again, as we just looked from the, the back side, got some diamond plate with some D-ring tie downs and then some like diamond plate rubber coin where the car would drive in. So. I believe that covers most of it. I'll give you a little view of the upper deck. One thing I did notice, they put in an inspection hatch right here to where uh, if you're tying down like two cars in the upper deck, you can tie the rear of the front car down and the front of the rear car down. Very nice to have those inspection ports midway in the trailer. Go on down and go up the little steps here and check out the upper deck. Again, as clean as the bottom some D-ring tie downs. You can see midway there, that inspection port. Again, 54 and a half to clear the rear door header and 55 and a half inches once you get on the inside. It does have an observation deck with the aluminum railing. So that's something that, that is included. Uh, you'll see a photo on our website there 
of the uh, the railing stood up and in action. And it has hydraulic landing gear on the front. So I think that covers it. If you have any interest, give us a call. Nationwide delivery, financing, and uh, trades accepted. So Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports coach and trailer sales with his 2002 Renegade 40-foot hydraulic liftgate trailer. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We, we appreciate each and every one of you coming on board and, uh, and being a part of what we got going on here. So please give me a shout if we can help. Thank you. Well, view of the hydraulic lift gate in action. So I'm closing the trailer up. I've already closed or folded over the rear flap. Um, but the hydraulic lift gate, you can level side to side. So you can see I can make the right side go or both. Or on lowering, I can lower the left side while keeping, or excuse me, lower the right side while keeping the um, left side stationary. So very neat how these systems work. Very durable too.